Hey what's up everyone in this tutorial I'm going to talk about the Elementor image carousel widget we will talk about all the content and design options of this module and make different kind of carousel with this widget so let's make it first of all to make a image carousel we search for the carousel and drag it to here so after adding this carousel you can see nothing here so we need to add some images to add some images I click on this plus icon and select some images from here click create a new gallery and you can see underneath all the images here are some options to add the caption for every images so i add some captions here so you can change the order of the images by dragging the images before and after then i click the insert gallery so you can see the carousel is added here but the image size is too small i want to make it the full size but all the image ratio are not the same so i want to make it custom and make all the image ratio same i want to make it 700 by 400 and click apply now we can see all the images are 700 by 400 ratio okay now we can see a three column carousel but if we want to change that we can change it from here the option slides to show so right now it's three but if i want to choose the two you can see this is now a two column carousel okay after that there is a option of slides to scroll that means when i click the next or the previous or when it's auto changes how many slides changes at a time right now the carousel changes by only one slides but if i choose here multiple like two and then changes you can see the slider is now changes by two slides at a time okay next the option is the image stretch which is by default no but if you choose it to yes you can't see any differences but if i make this to 70 by 40 pixel you can see the differences okay now the images is 70 by 40 pixel but when i enable the image stretch to yes you can see the image is stretched to full width but if i turn it off you can see the image is the original size which i set it right from the custom width but i don't want to make it too small so i back to the 700 and 400 pixel okay then there is the option of the navigation which is the arrow and dotted of the slider right now it's the arrow and dots you can choose either arrows or dots or none of them after that here is the option of the link of the carousel right now it's none but you can choose it to media file or a custom url so let's see the media file option you can notice when i choose media file here is also an option arrived called lightbox so at this moment when i click on any images you can see the image is shown on a beautiful lightbox view from here i click the next or previous and make it zoom or make it full screen okay that's cool but if you don't like this light box option you can also link the images to its image link to do this I turn off the light box option to no and click update if I go to preview now when I click on an image you can see this image location is opened in this tab okay then here is the another option of custom url which is you can set any custom url here you can select any external url like twitter or you can link it to your pages or post i want to link it to my service pages so i type services and link it to my this page i click update and go to preview so when i click on this slider you can see this go to my services page okay after that if you want to add some text underneath these images you can do that by this caption option you can make it to title you can make it to caption or description the title is mainly the title of the images which you can set from here which is the title of the individual images 
okay you can set it the caption this is the caption of the images this caption you can find it from the here or you can also write it from the caption of these images or you can make it the description which you can write from the this field here is also the option of the description okay so after the basic options there are some additional option of the carousel which you can find here here is the option for the autoplay which means the carousel is automatically slides after an interval of time but if you turn it off you can make it to no now the slide is no more automatically play until you click next or previous or the dotted but i want to make it turn on so when it turned on here are some options available which is pause on hover which means when i hover over this slider this slider is no more automatically slides so you can make it turn on or off here is also an option pause on interaction you can also make it turned on or off then here is the option of autoplay speed which is now 500 millisecond which means 5 seconds which indicates the interval time between the autoplay slide changes so if i make it one second 100 millisecond and click update and go to preview now you can see this slider is changes for each second of interval which is very quick but i don't want that so i want to make it five seconds again then here is the option of infinite loop when i turn it off you can see when i reached to the end of the slide there is no more option to repeat the slide anymore and also for the previous button when i go to the previous slide from the first slide it's also won't work so after that here is the option of animation speed which is half of a second 500 millisecond which is the speed of the transition of changing of the slider if i make it five second you can see the differences if i click update and go to preview you can see this slider is changing too slowly so lastly here is the option of the direction which is now left which means the carousel is slides from left to right but if you want you can make it to right you can see the slide is now slides to right to left okay that's all the options in the content tab now we go to the style tab and let's see what we can design from here so first of all in the navigation section you can see here are the options for the arrows and dots so for the arrows you can make it the position inside of the slider or outside so if you make it outside of the slider the arrows go to outside of the slides you can make the size larger or smaller or set the color from here any color similar to the arrows you can also control the dots from here you can make it outside or inside of the slider you can control the sizes you can make it any color so after that we go to the image section you can make the image vertical align to the top or middle or the bottom so you can't see any differences because now all the images are in same aspected ratios so if the images would be on different height all the images would align on the middle of each other so after that here is the option of spacing right now it's default you can make it custom spacing you can increase or decrease the spacing between the images and the border type you can choose the solid or double or dotted dashed grove any kind of border type change the border width border color or border radius that's all the image design option and after that here is the option for designing the caption you can make the caption alignment to center left or right or change the text color to any color you want and after that you can change the typography of this text you can make any font family any font size font weight text transform or font style text decoration line height or letter spacing you can change everything from here okay that's all the options for an image carousel so now we delete this carousel from here 
and want to make different kind of carousel to show you how we can implement this image carousel widget to make different kind of carousel on your website. So let's make it. So our first example would be a carousel with some caption. We want to place the carousel to beside this text. So we search for carousel and drag it to here, add some images. Click insert gallery, make the sizes of the images to custom, make its ratio to 700 by 400 and click apply. I want to make it one column. I don't want this dotted so I choose the navigation to arrows only and after that I want to add some caption under this slider so I click the caption and choose it to caption. Then I go to the additional option and change the sliding effect to slide to fade. So now you can see when we go to next, the sliding effect is changes to fade. That also looks cool. Now I want to increase the font size of this caption. So I go to style and go to caption and go to its typography. I want to increase its font size, make its font family to pop ins want to increase its font weight a little bit. So after that I want to give a background color of this carousel. So I go to advanced and go to background and make the background type to classic and choose a color to gray on the style tab. I want to make the captions color to black. Also gives some padding. Go to advanced and remove the clip icon to give some padding to its bottom. So I increase the padding. Okay. Now we want to add a three column carousel underneath this section and add a light box with this slider. So let's make it. I want to insert this carousel under this heading. So I search again for this carousel. Then next we want to adjust the sizes of these images. We want to make it 500 by 300 ratio and click apply. I don't want these arrows so I go to navigation and choose the dots only. Now to add light box I go to the link option and choose the media file. And the light box option is by default enabled when I choose the media file link. Now when I click on any images you can see the nice light box view for every images. You can go to the next or previous one from here also. Okay. I want to make a little bit of spacing between the images so I go to the style and go to images and make the spacing to custom and want to make it 3 pixel. Okay, that looks good. So after that we want to add a slider of logos underneath this section. So if you want to make a slider of company logos you're working with or any kind of logos you can do it with this image carousel widget. So let's make this logo carousel. I add the carousel, then we need to add some logos. You can see these logos are cut it off, so I want to change the image size to full. And also want to make it a 5 column slider, so I choose the slide to show to 5. And then I don't want this dotted or arrows, so I click this to none. Now I click update and go to preview. So now there are different kind of carousel you can make with this image carousel widget. It's the carousel with a fade effect and the nice caption underneath these images. This is a three column carousel with the nice light box view. Okay. And after that here is the logo carousel. You can use it for the company logos. Okay, that's all about the image carousel widget. You can make different kind of carousel for your website for different purposes and make awesome kind of carousel with this single widget. If you want to learn how you can make a full website with much more amazing sections like this, you can follow my other tutorial. Here I'll show you how to get a domain name, how to use Elementor to make your website banner, how to add YouTube videos, how to add contact form and much more amazing sections like this. You can check the description for the video and you can make an awesome website yourself. Thank you so much. I will see you later.